Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Uh, previously, we got to this island. And we also became Lonzo's assistant. In which we take pictographs uh, of people. Um, now these things right here are called bomb, bomb flowers. When you do that, they blow up really fast. Actually, in general, bomb flowers blow up really fast. If you're not sure um, what you should, or if you're not entirely sure, um, or if you want, if you want bombs to not explode as fast, there's actually an item for that. Now, right here, see the sign is broken. Nothing happens actually. We need something um, to fix that sign. And I want to go into this shop right here to meet a new character. Oh! oh a customer! Welcome to Beetle's Shop Ship! I deal in pretty much anything and everything! Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Like, I think he only pays you like 20. It's not very worth it, but if you don't need it at all, then yeah, go ahead. Or do you see anything you'd like to buy? Oh, just use the analog stick to browse. Yeah, we want the bait bag. You got the bait bag. Now you can, you can keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. It has eight pouches for storing bait. Press Y, Z, or X to see what's inside. Then press Y, Z, or X again to get your bait ready to use. Thank you. Thank you. You're the greatest. I'll never forget you. I'm going to make a member's card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. My shop is kind to its customers. No other shop will do this sort of thing for you. I'll have you know. Now you have now you have one point saved up. You should try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. Or just use Oh, just use analog stick. Thanks to you, I've completely sold out. Now I wanna buy some all-purpose bait here. What this allows you is to do is just call uh, animals to you and like have animals do things. I think that's it. I just want to buy that for now. I don't really want to buy anything else yet. Now we can go back over here. Whoa. Um, I want to get break this sign down. It talks about bombs, I think. But we want to go way over here. See this uh, rock right here? Yeah, uh, it's something well worth your time later in the game when we can um, see what's below it. Hmm, it's broken. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. This will give us our first song. Oh. Up, left, right. Up, left, right. You learned the wind's requiem. Well, and the wind changed directions too. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. The name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. So you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up? Well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. 
Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. It sends me to say that my brother Cyclos is mad about his monument here being broken and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you can encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. Fun fact, I'm not even sure if, uh, I don't, I don't really remember if, uh, he told you who he was. I think he did. Yeah, Zephos. Uh, he was originally supposed to be, like, Navi from Ocarina of Time. He was supposed to be, like, a, um, a guide for Link. But Nintendo scrapped it, so then they, um, but then they decided to just use the model for something else. So that's what they used them for. Now, if you pull out your Wind Waker right here in front of a broken sign, play the Wind's Requiem. That will cause. Oh, wait. No, it won't. Never mind. I thought it would make. Okay, what we really have to do is we really gotta get a move on because we gotta grab a bomb. Throw it over there. Nope, that didn't reach. We want to grab a bomb, flower, and have it explode this rock. But I think I'm just going to stand there and have it blow it up like that. Oh, wait, I forgot there was some over there. No, I think there... Whoop. No, there might be something up here. I'm not sure. Oh, some hearts. But what we really have to do is we have to go over here. What's this sign say? Oops. Mail center. We gotta take this bomb. Nope, that's too far, Link. Oh. There we go. Now I want to go up here and slide over. No! That was close. Now we want to go and just kind of slide over here. And when we pop off the wall, we're gonna not get the blue rupee. I thought we were. This needs to explode that, and it failed miserably. Got what? Hmm. Never had that happen. What we want to do is we want to jump back down here, grab this, and pull it out. And then head up here. Oh, who are you? Can I talk to you, I wonder? Link! Link, is that you? I'm pleased. It is. I'm pleased to see that you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? No. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. Hey, I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain that the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our... Whatever that means. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know that you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. Well, now what we gotta do is we gotta head inside 
And to head inside, we have to go over here. But first, we gotta break pots and get whatever's inside. There we go. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Falu's anger? Mm -mm. Ah, so you're Link, aren't you? Quill has told me about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything else we can do for you. To help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, vacuum the floor. No, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on this island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the Sky Spirit, Valu. When a Rito approach it reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost Island to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Velu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve, solve this problem. My apologies, but I must, guess, must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Wait for our assistance. Will you do so? Yep. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Komali? As you can see, Link... I have been erasing viruses now. Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Komali would open his heart to him and speak freely, freely on his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son, Kamali, is of the age to earn his wings. Yet, he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he might just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Yes. Alright, thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you. Here, Link, take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. You got a delivery bag! Finally crafted bags like this are used by Rito Postmen everywhere. With so many pockets, it can hold many items! Select it on the item screen, press Y, Z, or X to see what you have inside. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the great Velu to us. In the meanwhile, do you, meanwhile, what? In your meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Okay, episode seven took a lot of recording time, but I wanna have like a good enough recording time for this one. So maybe I'll go until like, my recording counter says 30 minutes. 
So what we've got to do is go down here and find Prince Komali and talk to him. Mm. Yeah, who are you supposed to be? What do you want from me, huh? I I don't talk to anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody right now. What do you want? Oh. Okay. I'm going to try to leave. I guess we can't talk to him yet. Instead, what we have to do is we have to go back here. I guess that's a step that you can't roll on top of. We have to go up here and find somebody. Well, <gasps> uh. I'll do that side quest later. Every year the Rito sponsor sponsors a Birdman contest on that island over there off the east or coast or whatever it said. I wonder if we'll have one this year. What would the current situation on this island? No time to waste. Everybody's so busy with the great value that we're running short of delivery personnel. It's a madhouse. Eh well, back to work. You know what I just realized? This thing up here, this flag, looks vaguely f similar to the Hylian Crest. Just vaguely. We've got to do those. We've got to go over here. <sighs> hey, I know you. Yeah. You're the adventure guy sailing from island to island. Action! Excitement! Right? So, with all the adventuring you do, did you happen to find a golden feather? My girlfriend, she's wanted one of those for things for the longest time. And actually, I kind of promised that I'd send one to her. Uh, do you have anything else to say? I have no idea why she wants a golden feather, but you know how it is. It does... It doesn't matter why, really. I just want to see her happy, to see her smile, you know. Which is why I told her I would send her one. Well, that's what something that we'll have to do eventually. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're Link, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit, Valu. My name is Medley, and your animation stopped. Almost. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here's this from the chieftain. Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. Air, yes, nice. You expected, you accepted a letter. It's a letter from somebody addressed to his son. Since you've just received a fine delivery bag, why not use it to carry the letter down to Kamali? I will do that. When you want to take it out, choose your delivery bag on the item screen and set this letter to Y, Z, or X. The room, the room way in the back of the fir on the first floor is Prince Komali's room. You have to go down a few steps to get there. When you meet Prince Komali, please don't be offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, Link. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragonur's Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Sure thing. Let's deliver that letter and then that'll be the end of this episode. We. 
Well, no, not that way. Gotta go to this room. Whoop. Actually. Actually, I think this is a good place to stop because I think uh, Prince Komali will talk for quite a while once you give it to him, so I don't really want to um, take too much time, if that makes sense. So, um, goodbye for now.